Hello, my Aries, and welcome to your September Love Tarot reading with me, Miss Machiste. Aries, this is going to be a love reading for the first half of September. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Do not forget to subscribe. I will be posting September mid-month love readings as well as pick a card, love readings, daily love readings, and weekend love readings, so don't miss out on any of that. Aries, also let's keep in mind, you can check out your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign because not all messages will resonate with every Aries out there. Also, Aries, let's keep in mind that the energy can be coming through vice versa, which means this could be resonating backwards. So if this is not you, then this can absolutely be the person you're dealing with or will be dealing with. Aries, also my cross watchers for Aries, you are welcomed on this channel. And if you're not a new subscriber and you've been with me, thank you for your support. I am so very grateful for you being here back with me and I can't wait for you all to see what else is coming from the channel so for my Aries 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 Sun Moon Rising Venus first half of September in their love lives all right Aries here we go okay Aries we have destruction we have lessons beautiful we have solitude and we have forgiveness all right Aries so first things first I definitely feel like you possibly could have been going through some sort of hard time and um, you may not have had to go you may have not had gone through this very recently it could have been that you are learning the lesson as to why you had to go through something in the past possibly Aries somebody um separated themselves from you and left you alone here. Um, I feel like somebody in your life here, Aries, caused you a lot of destruction. You had to learn your lesson from them. And you know, Aries, I feel like you're learning the lesson of this person and you're either in this in you're either you're either in one or two positions. You're in the position of forgiving yourself for letting this person put you through what they have gone through. And as you forgive yourself, you clear the way for new energy to come into your life. Or for others of you Aries, this person may be in isolation and they may be finally understanding what they have put you through and they may, may be coming back into your energy for forgiveness. And Aries, you may be um, doing your own thing in your own time, in your own energy, and they come back in for forgiveness and you're kind of just like, okay, like I'm glad you learned the lesson for destroying me, but I have grown and I have learned as well from it. So Aries, you could be in one or two positions in this in this reading, either having the one that need, that you need to forgive yourself for letting this person put you through this, or this person's coming back in and they want to forg they want your forgiveness for putting you through what they have put you through. And you know, with this coming out, Aries, this may be very much needed to clear the energy for you to gain new love interests. Because not forgiving this person or not forgiving what this person has put you through, like forgiving yourself for putting up with it for so long, it's going to block you from receiving blessings. And I feel like this is happening for you right now in this first half of September for you to clear your energy so you can be receiving of more love in your life. So you can be receiving of more What's the word I'm looking for here? Blessings and abundance. And even love offers at that. Like people actually coming your way, offering you love, saying like, hey, Aries, like I'm interested in you. So you may have been blocking your own self by not forgiving yourself for what someone else has put you through. Or, you know, you not forgiving them. You know, if you have this resent from them or you're just holding this grudge against somebody it may be blocking your energy so let's see what's going on here for my Aries Aries Sun Moon Rising Venus in the first half of September spirit for my Aries Aries with solitude here this person um, could have ghosted you as well but we're gonna see what else is coming out 
for my Aries, we have here Judgment. Yep, yep, yep. Judgment is here, the angel of the past. All right, Aries, we also have here the Three of Cups. We have the Two of Swords. We have the Five of Wands. We have the Hermit. And we have Temperance. All right, Aries, it's been a long time coming. This is reminding me of Leo's reading. So if you are dealing with Leo, go check that out. Okay, so Judgment, the Angel of the Past. Spirit is here. This is divinely guided. This is a lesson that you're learning, um, especially with this lessons card. But I love how Judgment came out with the lessons card because when i explain judgment judgment is what i how i see judgment is that the angel is coming down and blowing that horn is saying hello what have you learned from what i have put you through because i'm about to put a test in your way to see if you really have learned the lesson it's judgment day it's judgment first half of September here for you Aries could be dealing with a Libra um, we also have a three of cups here this person's coming back around there's a reconciliation um, they could have you know you know you could have had a rom romantic relationship with this person they may have friended go friend zoned you and now they are coming back they want to be in your energy again possibly you met them out you could have met them while you were out with friends. Um, but this person wants a reconciliation with you. They want to come back into your energy. They may want to take you out. They may want to go out with you. They may actually be writing to you or something along those lines. Or reaching out to you when they are um, drinking here with the Three of Cups. Or you may see them out while you're out um, having a good time. But we have the Two of Swords here. So there's definitely a decision to be made. Do I let this person back in or do I not? Do I forgive myself for what have I have been through in the past or do I not? Because nonetheless, Aries, there's a decision to be made. You must put down the blindfold and um, make a choice here because you may be very uncertain on what to do. And Aries, what spirit is guiding you to do is to forgive yourself for what this person puts you. Forgive yourself for letting this person put you through this. Forgiving this person for what they put you through. So, for a lot of you Aries, this person that you have not forgiven is blocking your energy. And they be, may be coming back around into your vicinity. So, you can forgive them and let them go. For others of you Aries, they want to be forgiven and they may want a second chance. But for, a, I'm really feeling Aries, this is somebody that you have to let go of energetically and forgive for yourself so you can find new energy, new love. Because we have the five of wands here. So I feel like this person that you have not forgiven or that wants your forgiveness is a challenge. You know, they test you. There may be a lot of attraction here. Or, you know, they could have put you in a third party situation. They could have made you feel extremely insecure, extremely challenged, possibly um, jealous even of other people. But... It's time, Aries. It's like you you're you are learning now. The hermit, Virgo energy, the angel of reflection. You are looking within and you are saying, like, look, I know I need to heal you for myself, but I don't know if I necessarily want to con if I want to be in this again. Because this person may be coming to you in a friend like vibe. And you're kind of like, wait a minute. Why are you coming towards me in a friend way when you basically destroyed me? Very interesting. And we have temperance here. The angel of peace. Aries, this person has caused you a lot of chaos. A lot of challenge. A lot of sleepless nights as well. This person definitely could have ghosted you. Like out of nowhere. Left you alone. But it's your time to regain peace. It's your time to regain a peaceful state of mind. Aries, this person is sorry. They want your forgiveness. And you may be very, very, very um, closed off to your, their energy. Um, with the five of wands here as well. Um, you may even put up a fight. Or this person may put up a fight. There may be an argument here. Um, let's see here. Let's clarify this here for my Aries. For the first half of September. Spirit for my Aries. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. 
For others of you Aries, you know, if you're in a relationship, I feel like you're learning a lesson of what keeps destroying this relationship. Because if you're in a partnership right now and you are realizing like, okay, great, like this is getting us nowhere. These argument, these arguments, these conflict, everything is not getting us anywhere. Um, one or both of you may spend a lot of time out. And I feel like there's a decision to be made. Like, look, are we going to find peace within each other or are we just going to keep having chaos? So let's clarify this here for my Aries. Sun, moon, rising, Venus for my Aries. Can you please clarify this? Thank you. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of healing and a lot of reflection and a lot of peace as you move to the mid-month of September here, Aries. Judgment, Two of Swords, Three of Cups, Knight of Swords, Two of Swords, Six of Cups, Five of Wands, Justice, The Hermit, Five of Cups, Temperance, Three of Pentacles, wow, Aries. Um, so for some of you Aries, you could have worked with this person or have worked with this person, but man, I feel like some of you Aries are like, mm, Ooh, very blocked off. This is the two of swords clarifying judgment. It's your time to take off the blindfold. Like I said, judgment day is here. Someone's returning from the past Aries. They have something to say. They're coming in hot. They're coming in heavily. I feel like you're blocking them out from your heart chakra. But what you need to do is forgive them. So even if you unblock your heart chakra to forgive them, that is the lesson to be learned. Because a lot of you Aries are going to stay in solitude. So if you're looking for a reading on new love and all of that other amazing things, this is not your reading. This is your reading if you're stuck and you're like, why am I not finding love? Because this is why. Whomever this person is that you have not forgiven or that you don't even necessarily believe will return into your energy, guess what? They're about to return and you don't even expect it. Because of how they did you wrong in the past. But the Three of Cups here, Knight of Swords, they're coming in hot. Um, we have more sword energy. This could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But this person is going to be very communicative. Honestly, Aries, some of you may uh, some of you may argue with this person, but forgiving this person is your best bet to clear your energy out. If this person constantly is coming back around and always annoying you or always like trying to get into your energy or you know, just trying to like ruffle your feathers again, I really feel like Aries there's a there's a there's um a time right now for you to say like, "Look, I've learned my lesson from you and I forgive you for what I what you have put me through, but like I want to I want to be in solitude. Or you know what, Aries, some of you eat me, may even be in another relationship. And this person's coming in and they're like, "Aries, like why don't you forgive me or like why aren't you talking to me or like why won't you hang out with me?" And it's kind of like, "Look, Aries, you got to you got to give this person some sort of something. Like, look, I forgive you for everything you did, but I forgive you for myself because I need to move on. I feel like this person doesn't know that you've moved on yet. Six of Cups, this person is missing you. This person is thinking that this relationship is going to go somewhere. It's cup energy, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. But Aries, you're about to, ha there's going to be a back and forth with somebody. And you're about to receive your karmic justice. You're about to receive that good karma that you so very much need from being destroyed from this person. So Aries, honestly, I feel like this is somebody who's done you wrong in the past. You may have felt like you moved on from them, but you may have been like, huh, I moved on from their energy, but why do I still feel blocked? It's because you must forgive them inside and they're going to come back around and I feel like it's so you can forgive them and release them. For others of you Aries, you know, maybe you're going to compromise with them, but there is balance here, justice, Libra energy. There will be um, a karmic spin in your favor where you are going to be reaping the rewards because we do have the hermit here to the five of cups you are going to be able to change your focus aries this is you sitting at those three cups saying great 
I'm always dealing with things like this. I'm always meeting people who do me wrong like this. I'm never going to find somebody. This person ruined me. This person destroyed me. No. You can heal yourself. The hermit is here. This is self-isolation, the hermit. And the hermit is saying, look, turn around. There are two cups left. There is hope for you. There is hope for love. But if you don't clear this person and what they did to you and think that this... that." That this is going to be what's going to happen to you all the time. And, and that like, oh, I only get people who do me wrong. Or I only get players. Or I only get people who are all over the place. No. You got to forgive them. Forgive you. And move forward. Because we have temperance here with the three of pentacles. Like I said, Aries, some of you could have worked with this person. Or Aries, some of you, this person put you in a third party situation. Made you feel extremely jealous. Made you feel extremely all over the place. Possibly destroyed your self-confidence. And now that they're coming back in, you're like, no, 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 no. I'm not letting you back in. Like, no, 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 no. But Aries, you got to forgive this person for what they did. Because it may be blocking you in other aspects of your life with these two of swords here twice. And it's been a long time coming, Aries. This person may have had a lot of moments to do you wrong or they may have done you wrong in the past. And this is somebody from deep, deep, deep down that you never really expected would come back in to be forgiven. But they're here for forgiveness. They may cause a little conflict. They may cause a little bit of... Um, just a little bit of an uneasy situation here for you, Aries, but you can handle anything. You have been regaining your strength and your confidence. You have been reflecting on everything, and this is your moment to clear your energy because you are about to receive a karmic reward. You are about to receive good energy. You're about to get your justice, Aries. Somebody who destroyed you, they're regretting it. They want forgiveness. And I don't think you are expecting this person coming in at all. Aries, I'm just going to clarify this last row down here. Spirit, can you please clarify this last row here for Aries? Why is this here for my Aries spirit for the first half of September? For my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For my Aries. It's like this person, oh, they caused you so much challenge. And it's like they're coming in like nothing even happened, kind of. But they do want your forgiveness, or spirit really wants you to forgive them so your energy can be cleared. You can forgive people for yourself. Don't make it about them. It's, for, it's about you, right, Aries? So let's clarify this here. Thank you, spirit. Five of Wands justice being clarified by the four of cups yes aries justice over feeling rejected justice over feeling like your feelings were never validated wow aries the table has the tables have turned and i'm telling you this reminds me of leo's reading and leo's reading i literally wrote in the title the tables have turned so if you're with another fire sign or something along the lines if this person's a fire sign get to that reading as well so we also have the Five of Cups being clarified by the Ten of Wands. Yes, you can finally put down the burden of wondering and waiting and and just not knowing exactly how to go around things and how to do things. You're finally going to put down this burden and you're finally going to be able to be more open and be more accepting to new love or just be less, less kind of cautioned. So we have your Temperance Three of Pentacles, Page of Cups. Yes, look at that. Because there is new love here. And Spirit is saying that once you put down the burden of thinking that you were the person who did something wrong or that everything was your fault or that this person, like you don't forgive yourself because you let this person disrespect you at such a high manner. No, Aries clear that out it has nothing to do with what you have done as a person everything that somebody does to you has something to do with them not you and you're about to receive big karmic justice here aries and i feel like for some of you this person may be super 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 apologetic may even be a little bit begging they may even put up a very strong fight for you to forgive them but aries i'm telling you right now forgiving them for yourself is the key to clear your energy for more blessings because there is new love here with the page of cups or this person is just going to be wanting to offer you more now 
So, Aries, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this um, reading, and I look forward to your feedback. If you would like to book a private reading with me, you can absolutely send me an email, or you can send me a direct message to my Instagram. Both are in the description box below. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Bye now, Aries.